Hi everyone, what we're going to do in this video clip is we're going to go through how to uh, run updates to our Linux system. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to log in as a regular user. The um, reason we're doing that is whenever you log into a uh, Unix system you should always log in as a regular user and then you should use either sudo or the su command uh, or some of the things that are built into the um, to the system to actually do your updates. You don't want to be logging in as a super user. That way any time that you want to make changes to the whole system you purposely have to go through the point of doing that. Um, we'll address in another video this uh, SE Linux alert that you just saw pop up right now. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that one when we get there. Um, so for us to run an update, uh, it would have taken too long for me to shoot a video on doing a full update of a brand new system install. So what I did is I have a full update done. I have one package that's left that's not updated yet. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways we can go about getting that update put on the system. Uh, the first one's using just the menu system. Uh, so if we go to uh, System, Administrator, we can go down and we'll see there's a Software Update option for us. When we click on this option, it's going to take a couple of seconds for the, um, for the system to uh, spin up. Uh, but once it's done, we'll actually be able to see what packages need to be installed. And then we're able to actually install those updates. Uh, if we want to install this package now, all we have to do is click on this install button. There's some more information coming down at the moment too though that'll let us determine exactly if we should be updating this or not. Um, as you can see here, it just tells us when the update was, why it was given, um, and that sort of information. So if we want to apply this update, we can click on the install update now button. Once that's done, it'll go through the process of checking all our dependencies and actually doing the update for us. Um, if you see this little icon right here that says Normal Update, if I let my machine run long enough, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, uh, what you'll see happen is that will appear up next to this uh, alert thing for uh, SE Linux just to let us know that, oh, you have new updates, much like it happens in Windows when you're doing things. So if I click on the Install Updates, which I'm going to do now, it's going to pull down the files that need to be downloaded to do this install and check to see what other files might need to be downloaded with it. Um, this can range in time for how long it takes. If you've just finished installing your system and you go to run this, you could be looking at an hour or two. In this case, it's a 14 meg file. Um, I'm on a high speed connection. It, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two to get everything. Um, so, that should, uh, should take a... Uh, just another couple of minutes. I'd say the packages are pretty much downloaded there now and uh, any minute it should be going on to the installing of the package and uh, well it'll check the package to make sure it was downloaded properly then it'll install it and then it'll clean up after itself. Once that's done I'll have whatever the latest version of Firefox 3 happens to be. Um, once this is completed, I'm going to also show you how you can do this from the command line. Uh, if you're a little old school at this stuff, sort of like I kind of tend to be, um, or if you're looking at doing this for a really big update, I generally find the, um, the terminal way of doing it uh, a little more comfortable, but that might just be me. So we're just about finished here now. It's installing our updates. And any moment it should be finished. Uh, once it finishes installing, it will go to the next stage of uh, checking the, that the install is done correctly and then it'll clean stuff up so that you don't end up with a whole lot of uh, files you don't need on your system. All 
Alright, and as you can see from our progress bar, we're just about done. Now, uh, if you're doing this update, the only real thing you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be uh, doing this update with the uh, running the program that you currently have uh, being updated. So if you were running Firefox right now, it probably wouldn't be the uh, the most sensible thing to continue to run it while you're doing your update. But as you can see now, our update is done, it's completed, and it's all very happy. When we say OK, it's finished off for us. So I come over here, I can also go to my terminal. And the command that I'd use to do this uh, this update would is yum, and then update is the argument, and then the package that you're going to uh, be applying to it, if you want to pick a package, or I can do a complete just yum update. Now, if I do this, it should tell me that I need to be the super user to do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, use the su command uh, with the minus c option that lets me become the super user to run this command. It's going to prompt me for the super user's password. And I entered that, I hit enter. Now the super user or the root user is going to go through and uh, do this update. Uh, because we just completed this update from our system menu up here, there's nothing left for it to update. So at this point, we're happily updated. If you have more than, I'd say, 50 or 60 updates, I'd recommend going this way because I find it tends to be quicker and I can kind of go about do what I'm doing then in the in the meantime I can just start up a terminal window uh, run yum or su minus c yum update I can minimize the screen and then I can be off to the races I can do whatever else I want to do while I let that go on there's a couple of spots it's going to ask you for some things like if you really want to go through with an update um, we'll see some examples when we do some installs a little later of uh, exactly how that part works. But uh, generally speaking, our two ways of doing our updates are using the yum update command or using the system, administration, software updates. Uh, as we saw, there can be, an, as we saw from the icon that uh, showed up when we ran that, um, if that icon does appear up on our title bar here, or up in our uh, menu screen, we can click on that and that will run the uh, the system update uh, GUI interface for us, which will allow us to pretty much go to this program uh, without issue. If I do actually run that program again, it'll tell me, oh, there's nothing to install here, everything's up to date, I'm happy. So. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to disable SE Linux um, and why we might want to disable SE Linux and why we might not want to disable it. So I'll uh, see you again soon.